Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with another prophetic word, okay? Today is Sunday, December 26th, okay? And this is something that I was supposed to do like a week ago, but I did it on my own. And I see why God is like, we have to bring it back around, okay? So this is a prophetic word that you do not want to miss. This is for everyone. This is not a prophetic word that applies to just one or two people, okay? So first, I'm going to read scripture. Let's start off with scripture. Oh, really fast. So you guys know how I just really feel like there has been this attack. I always call them attacks, but there's been this attack on us as of late, an attack of slumber, an attack of, so remember earlier this month, God gave me instructions for us. Like we are supposed to be getting into his presence. We are supposed to be making sure that we're spending time with him, um, elevating higher in him, right? Okay. Well, not only is that not being done as much, but also too, there's this like, attacks on dreams um i just made a video about that the fear video where i was talking about how the devil is playing on your deepest fears in this season right and if anybody knows anything about anxiety if you are deeply fearful about something no matter what else is going on in your life you won't be able to focus because your fear is being presented to you right and if we're being called to focus more on god especially before 2022 Obviously, the enemy is going to rear his head and make it where you do not focus on those things, okay? So, what I'm about to say today is going to get us back on, back in focus and back on track, in route to what we should be doing for the Lord, which is building his temple, okay? All right. So, scripture, we're going to be coming from Ezra 8, and I'm going to read 15, and then I'm going to jump from 21 to 23, I'm reading the New Living Translation, okay? 15. I assembled the exiles at the Ahava Canal, and we camped there for three days while I went over the list of the people and the priests who had arrived. Pay attention to that. He said, and we camped there for three days. I found that not one Levite had volunteered to come along. Now, 21. And there by the Ahava Canal, I gave orders for all of us to fast and humble ourselves before God. Again, I gave orders for all of us to fast and humble ourselves before God. We prayed that he would give us a safe journey and protect us, our children, and our goods as we traveled. For I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to accompany us and protect us from enemies along the way. After all, we had told the king, our God's hand of protection is on all who worship him but his fierce fierce anger rages against those who abandon him so we fasted and earnestly prayed that our god would take care of us and he heard our prayer so we are so this is talking about them being en route to jerusalem but we are currently being en route to 2022 which is the true building of god's temple he's bringing people together he's restoring order he's putting people in high places that have been in low places okay these different things so i sun ray am calling i guess you call it a corporate fast um for three days okay I'm going to tell you guys the details of this fast. So obviously we are supposed to be praying, okay? Praying for God to protect us, praying for God to guide us, praying for God to uh, provide the provision that we need for whatever it is that he's having us build in 2022, okay? So today is December 26th. So our fast starts tomorrow. It's going to go on the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th. Now the details of this fast, because I know there are some people that have health concerns and, and whatnot. So you guys can drink water. You can like drink like a smoothie. You can also um, drink like fruit juices, but they have to be like whole fruit juices. So nothing that has added sugar, all right? And why am I saying all of this? Because we want to reset our bodies so that our minds can think more effectively. We want to reset our gut health, okay? Because the gut is known as the second brain, okay? Look it up, the gut axial theory. So pretty much with that, it's one of those things where we want to 
uh, more clearly hear the voice of God, especially the day before the new year is set to begin, okay? So the fast is gonna go from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is the other detail of the fast. After 6 p.m., you guys cannot like go eat a burger, go eat like tacos, go eat unhealthy. It has to be something that is wholesome and nourishing to the body. So for example, you could probably make you like some chicken, some black beans, some uh, rice, some whole grain rice, whatever it is. Put some cilantro, some tomatoes, some fresh veggies, some onions on there. You can eat that for dinner. You can eat a salad for dinner. You have to break your fast with something wholesome and nutritious because we do not want to set ourselves back, okay? We are going into 2022 eating healthier and we're doing this together. Not to say you can't have cheat days, I mean, that's all a part of the health, but we've had enough cheat days, okay? Especially if y'all ate anything like how I ate yesterday. So my whole entire thing, you guys, is, is that I want you to be able to um, hear God more effectively. And uh, one way that we do that in the physical, one way we affect that is us not, um, what do you call it? Uh, treating our gut health better, right? And another thing that God just brought to me in the spirit is thinking about Ephesians 6 and 11. This is helping prepare us to put on the full armor of God. So the breastplate of righteousness, the sword, the shield of faith, the um, the sword of truth, you know, all of that. We are trying to be in alignment with God's will. We do not want to be misguided going into 2022, okay? So that is the main reason why I'm calling it spies. God called me to do this uh, a week ago, week and a half ago. And he brought me to the scripture and I didn't realize at the time that he was calling me to call you guys into fasting and prayer with me, okay? I'm not doing this alone. I forget that, you know, I'm a leader now. And with me being a leader, y'all, it's still new to me. I have to ensure that y'all are also doing the same thing that I'm doing. That's how we strengthen each other. So for the next three days, we are going to be doing, um, I'm going to be getting up, well, I get up early every day, but... Um, I'm going to be recording a praise and worship video for three days. And praise and worship, that's what we're pretty much going to do in the morning. Um, just to, one, um, go with the uh, directions for the fast. As it says here, he says, because I want to be correct. We fasted and earnestly prayed that our God would take care of us and he heard our prayers. So provision, whatever it is that we are needing going into 2022, whatever promises it is that you're still waiting on God, we are looking for a miracle and we know we serve a God that can do it. We can petition the Lord to do so, okay? Um, so that, and then also another aspect of the fast, which I forgot. This will be the last thing I mentioned. So I made a list of things that I personally want to work on or have us work on okay so for some of us um there's a spirit of slumber so you have to set your alarm to wake up at four or five o'clock tomorrow morning or six between four and six that's the time you should be waking up tomorrow morning for the next three days um adhere to a productive schedule so today take the time to set a set up a productive schedule for yourself um so that you are able to not fall victim to the slumber eat healthier that's our goal so of course like the fruit juices etc but break your fast with something nutritious all right something with fiber in it to help you move all right um exercising okay we need to be exercising so whether it's you walk around your apartment complex four times or something like that i know i'm gonna try and run lord knows whoo okay but we are going to do this okay we're doing it together um getting to bed earlier that's something that i have no problem with but i know a lot of people they stay up because the thing is is like god wakes a lot of us up very early i know someone sent me an email saying like oh sunray you've been like tired da, da, da. no i've just been busy doing some stuff so i've been staying up late but god still wakes me up early so in the morning when i make the video i'm like whoo okay so we are all going to be getting to bed earlier when i say earlier i mean by 10 o'clock okay 10 10 30 um reading 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 okay so whether it is reading scripture is always a big thing but find you a book something that can teach you something learn something whether it's about finances okay that's what i'm learning about in this hour so i have a book that i'm reading um i forget what it's called but 
that's not how you get rich i forgot it's something like that but um it's a, a spiritual teaching on the laws of money etc okay um another thing um and spiritual by me like he uses scripture it's not spiritual in the sense of like law of manifestation nothing like that like it's not no third eye nothing like that it's literally a man of god teaching you how to manage money okay um and then i have like other things that i need to work on so my thing is, is over these next three days we are living our new lives we are living our new selves we're healthy we're encouraged we're praying to god and we're staying strong because it is so important that we get this right before the new year because i promise y'all if you are not doing it now in 2021 when 2022 comes you will not be doing it at all okay okay so use today to eat all the crap you're going to eat because we are going into this new year fast and in a hurry i already had grocery shop and most of the stuff in my house is pretty healthy so uh, but usually that's how it is though it's always ordering takeout or going to go get something to eat or somebody be like hey girl let's go get this right yeah don't fall victim i love how that light just came out of nowhere so that's us look this is our confirmation. The light of God will shine through us. Wanna know why? Because your skin will be glowing. Your skin glows when you drink enough water. Your skin glows when you're eating healthy. So um, I pray that you guys have a blessed Sunday. Um, continue to spend time with your family and your friends, loving on the people that love you and even loving on those that don't. Have a blessed day, y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow morning for our day one of our fasting, praise, and worship. I haven't decided what I'm going to call it just yet, but God has been speaking to me about returning back to the whole daily manna. He's like, you just forgot about that, huh? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I got you. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later.